Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the light heavyweight division, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. I want to see some hands. Opening three minutes of this 10 round fight. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Good block there by Johnson. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Macho. Halfway through this round. He scored well after being hit himself. Work the body. Good job staying away from the danger there. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Macho's doing something that I often question, and that's a fighter going out there as that round comes to an end. Once again, just being able to say, he didn't put forth enough effort. Why? Because it's a mental game, Joe, and it's about confidence. And right now, he does not have the confidence to go forth and do those things. Even though you and me are looking and we see the opportunities there. He doesn't see them. He doesn't feel them. That's it. Throw him off with head movements. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to the punch. That's all. You need to throw him here we go, round two is underway. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Macho. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. 
somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Nice block by Johnson. Johnson's jab lands well. He got hit, but he sends it right back. He missed with that headshot. Doing great. Macho's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Halfway through round number two. A knifing left hand by Johnson. Excellent jab by Macho. I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Blocks that belt line well. He clinches when he gets to the inside. What an impact that left hand just made by Johnson. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tacked pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. Hey, he's time. probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Macho's recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here. This is the start to the round he wanted to have coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. Do that again! There's the headshot, but he parries it away. By Macho. You're okay. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it going. Unload. Right to the body. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. One, two. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Macho's punches are way off the mark. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. Coming to the halfway point of this third round, that hook was well off the mark. He comes with a straight right hand. Nice!
off the target by Johnson. Oh, you're doing great. Back and forth exchange. A solid true uppercut by Macho. Johnson's right hand scores well that time. Keep doing what you're doing. Macho's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Body shot. He's tired. Back to the body. Last 10 seconds. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Keep working the body. And now he's targeting upstairs. And the round comes to an end. That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Nice work. You can't handle your speed. It's too much for me. Keep it up. Keep circling. Don't fight his fight. Jab more. Jab more. Jab more. I need you to throw more punches. Body, bang, the body, hit the body. I think our fans out there will be curious to see your scorecard here at the beginning of round number four. Macho's been willing to throw punches. He, his punch output is high, but he has not earned a round on your scorecard. Yeah, but Joe, that's why they call it the sweet science. It's that's not enough just, like just to grab a guy, put him in the ring, and say throw punches. You gotta throw at the right time, at the right distance. You don't do that, you pay a price, you lose rounds. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Keep working the body. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. One, two, one, two. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Keep working his jab. Let's some more head moves. Let's see some more head moves. Get out of the way. Keep moving, keep moving. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not much action as he just ties up. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Macho's just being very hesitant right point. now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there, be creative. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Watch the hook! Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move.
too much. You're looking good. Looking good. And he's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. There you go. Now listen to me. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Round number five has arrived. Macho's last round, Teddy, could be a turning point kind of round. I mean, we start this round right here, and you do have the sense, even though I think he's down on the scorecards, you do have the sense that he's headed in the right direction. Well, good things can start, you know, one step at a time. Well, he took that first step. Now he's got to take the second moving, step and put two good rounds in a row together. Good return fire that time. Macho's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. He's tired. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. A headshot blocked. He's tied. He's tied. He's tied. Yeah, Teddy, when you've been it. in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, oh, then time him. One. Now you're going to catch him. right there by Macho. You see him holding on. Looking good. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't yes. let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. You take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. You have to double the jab, all right? Look, he's timing you. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. <laughs> There you go. 
Johnson's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Oh, Halfway through moving. round six. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Double up on your punches. on that exchange. Macho's flat-footed. There's no other way to describe it. He's not a fighter that gets up on his toes, moves around, gives you angles. He's flat-footed. Yeah, you don't have to be on your tricycle all over the place, but you can step a little bit. Get out of range. He's doing nothing. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. You're still not moving enough. Move, move! I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight. And I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. Relax. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. That's it. Now listen, I need you to keep working the body. When his hands drop, uppercut the hook. Okay? Hook to the body. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Oh, you're doing great. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Really frustrating his opponent now. Johnson's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Just missed that shot up top. Back to the body. Come on, kid, focus. At the halfway point of round seven. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Missed the body shot. Back to the body. One, two. One, two. Got to see those coming. Oh. 
Macho's work rate is very high. I looked at the punch stats, and you can see that he's a busy guy. I don't think he's an effective guy, though. A lot of these aren't landing. Well, you have a reason to think that, Joe. Guess what? I agree. They're not landing. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And that's the end of round seven. One punch now. Got it more than one punch. Look at me. You're doing well. But I need to see the combinations. I need to see the straights. It's hurt this guy. He can't take a punch. Keep your hands moving. Keep busy. You got to pick up the speed, all right? Pick up the speed. I'm doing Seven entertaining rounds so far. Johnson's up on your scorecard, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Yeah, well, he moves his head. Defensively, there's a lot of work to be done because he moves his head, Joe, but he does it with his hands down. And every once in a while, he gets caught. He gets caught clean. That's Unable to score see. with the hook. <laughs> Comes right back with some offense of his own. by that. Macho's got things going on his side now. Remember, this fight was going against him. Now, a good rally by him. Some of that body work there, even when he was losing the rounds, that body work, it's starting to pay dividends right now. The halfway point of round number eight. And he just holds on there. Nice work, nice work. Johnson's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. Keep circling, keep circling. Don't stand in front of it. You got to give me the double jab. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep...
It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it to the... Machos hit by a right hand. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You got this one. Good block there by Macho. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Johnson. Let it go. Let 90 it seconds into the ninth run. round. Focus, relax. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Trying to score up top, but off the mark there. <laughs> Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. If you don't throw punches, I'm going to stop the fight. Come on. Throw punches. Oh, it's been a good one tonight. But one more round to go. Here it is, the final go round. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Macho's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. On your punches. Protecting his head well with his guard. Macho stunned and he is hurt. Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's bumbling around this ring. Well, he's got to stop moving. Actually, you never want to fight on the ropes. This is one time he probably needs to be on the ropes. This is Johnson's hurt. Wow, is he hurt. He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Oh, 
Oh, you're doing great. And he engages in the clinch. <laughs> Halfway through this 10th and final <laughs> round. <laughs> All out war. Back and forth they go, trading blows halfway through this round. So I've been to smorgasbords where you can eat nachos. Stumbled Amazing. back. He just got hurt. Off the mark Come by on, Macho. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Very, very close fight. But the envelope, please, will bring all the drama. Which way will the judges see this? This is where they earn their money to be able to pick the right guy for tonight. Johnson's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.